Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So the final version of Android 10 is here and soon you might get the update for your phone. So what do you expect from the Android 10 and what are the new features? Let's talk about it. So first of all, system wide dark theme is now finally here with the Android 10. You can actually enable and disable from the notification panel too, just like that. And another thing, when you enable the dark theme, it also affects the other applications which supports the dark theme globally. So for example, the Google Chrome, now I'm gonna disable the theme and it's now back to normal. Next up, we have the new navigation gestures. And I have been using this type of navigation gestures in my Xiaomi Poco F1. They already have it. Now finally, it is also available in stock Android. This feels amazing. And this feature is actually, you can say, uh, stolen idea is stolen from the iOS because this feature is already available in iOS so now it's finally in Android so how this works is once you enable the new navigation gestures swipe from left or right screen of the edge like that to go back amazing and you will see a small pill at the bottom which is a kind of home button so if you swipe up like that it will take you to the home screen but if you swipe and hold you can access the recent apps menu. All right, next up we have the new app permission style, just like iOS. It looks clean. It doesn't matter how it looks, but it looks amazing. And it also comes with the additional options for a specific permission. For example, you can see I'm opening a camera application. So camera application is asking for location access. So you can see we can allow this application to access the location all the time or second option this is a new option which says allow only while using the application which is amazing thing and uh, by selecting allow only while using the app which means app application needs to be opened uh, if they want to use the location so by selecting the second option we can save battery because uh, app won't use our locations in background amazing all right since we are talking about the app permissions uh, there is a redesigned and cleaner new interface for the app info you can see it looks much better than the previous versions of android next up we have the system updates this is a big deal and big step forward because uh, you know to get the security updates we have to rely on phones manufacturer they have to push the update through ota over the year but now in android 10 and above this thing has changed now you can actually get the security updates and patches from the google play store just like you get the updates for your applications all that kind of stuff so this is amazing so actually google is making a android update thing more easier quicker so manufacturer can deliver the update faster all right while we are here let's talk about the hidden easter egg for android 10 which says just android 10 you can actually uh, add just these things like that whatever you want to do so there is no game sadly so and one more thing about the android 10 that there is no name for the android 10 now it will be called as a android 10 only previously it was as a sweet name like android pie android oreo marshmallow lollipop all that kind of stuff so now google has taken that down now they are only calling it like the numeric version like android 10 after that android 11 12 so i don't know if they will change that thing in future but yeah it doesn't matter as long as they push the good android updates all right next big feature updated digital well-being with this you'll get lots of new features but the new feature i like the most is just amazing i'm gonna go into the dashboard and here is the thing so let's say for example you want to pause any application you don't want that application to run in background actually you can do that finally so let's say for example this youtube thingy I can set the timer how long I can use and after that it will go to sleep for 24 hours amazing so that's not the way I want to use it actually actually go back to the home screen and uh, keep pressing on the uh, application that you want to put in sleep you just press on that sleep icon 
or timer icon i don't know it's an old timer icon but you can see pause chrome so it will immediately pause the chrome so it won't use any activities in background so i'm gonna pause it like that and you can see the application is now grayed out that means can we use it we can't and it won't use any resources in background anything it's just a sleeping application so this feature helps in uh, battery life you can save lots of battery by using this feature if you don't want to use any application at certain time or something like that amazing so simply to unpause just click on application which is grayed out that means it's sleeping just click on unpause app and it will unpause and open the application right away so this is like the best feature i like the dark theme and this well-being feature is just amazing and also the navigation actually every single feature i'm talking about the under 10 here is just amazing i like it all right the final big new feature will be the privacy yes there is a separate privacy uh, section in settings which you can just access and control whole lot of things and you know since the privacy thingy is uh, a big deal for the android google and uh, microsoft windows 10 and all that kind of stuff so i don't want to talk too much about the privacy but if you uh, go inside here you can control lots of things so the actually after the android 10 from the uh, android 10 google is actually taking a big step forward to privacy and security and uh, i think that's a good thing so those are the main big features i found and there are many more tiny and big features i may have missed but uh, if you know any other feature that i have missed if you want to mention it you can mention it in the comment section below and i would love to reply you and read your comment and uh, yeah, there are many features like honorable mentions. Okay, let's do that part. So for example, Wi-Fi password share is now available in uh, Android 10, starting from the Android 10, just like you do in Xiaomi and Huawei phones. So if you have ever used those type of phones, then you know what's up. So I think that's it. If I have missed any tiny shiny things about the Android 10, you can make your own list in the comment section below. Make your own Android 10 uh, features list and I will read those features and reply your comment. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.